Alright, second to last chapter, last chance for EXP. Hector moves ahead, and his brother Uther's dying wish goes with him. Wow, what a stud. His destination is the Dread Isle. An enemy awaits there, one who must be defeated. Nurgle surrounds himself with his morphs and awaits for Hector's arrival. The final battle draws near. That's what I just said, moron. Oh shit! Well, well, this has happened. Vicarious, what did you just message me? That's uh, Nurgle charging his crystal. Okay. <laughs> Well, we've arrived. Okay, he says. Well, we've arrived. <laughs> Fargus, I can never thank you enough. Oh, that's that, nice sure, but... No need to worry about that. Are you sure you don't need our help from here? Fuck, I'm out. Bye. Oh, pirate's crew makes women smile and villains of a smile. We could be helpful. Thank you for your concern, but from here we go alone. We don't. Oh, sorry. We don't have any idea what will happen. We'd like you to deliver a message if you would. Even if we successfully defeat Nurgle, there's no saying if we'll survive the battle. We might, if we don't return. I apologize for the inconvenience, but... I'll worry about that when the time comes, don't worry. Thank you. And also, about Nils. I know, I'll take responsibility for him. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Nils, we're going now. Eh. No! Don't worry, you'll be fine with the scary pirate man. He's yeah, a you'll take bro. I know. responsibility. Oh no. Oh, carry it! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time for Eldie to go take a nap. <laughs> He's still a little angry. Sorry, no, it's, He's a little strange. <laughs> We're gonna shadow and there goes a, a <laughs> Ambition. Oh my god. Down. <laughs> Wait here and rest until we get back, okay? Fucking the curious is so stupid, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you No, know, the episode's got longer the moment he joined. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Why do I talk to you guys? <laughs> We're a great way to reduce brain cells. Oh good. I have like none left. It's that's already a little too late for that. I don't think you'll forgive me no matter how I apologize. You stabbed my sister. But just hear me out. You stabbed my sister. You bitch. Her power is no match for Nurgle. Even so, we can't Just give up. Really? So you stabbed my sister. <laughs> I have to fulfill oh, Ninja's wish too. Everyone dies when a bomb. Did she wish to get stabbed? <laughs> I will never, ever flee from that duty. You stabbed my sister. So, I want you to face reality as well. It doesn't have to be now. When you're past the pain, when you've recovered, I'm sure that's what Ninian would want, too. Okay, Fargus, we're going. Hey, don't mess this up, pups. Well then, time to get back on board and wait. Come on, lad. You're my oh, responsibility. <laughs> uh oh, I forgot. I was supposed to give him something important. Eh? Something that'll <laughs> come in real handy in battle. Oh. Can't believe I forgot. Nothing to be done but send someone after them. I'll go. Oh, are you sure you want to do it? I am. That's a relief. Live and return. Welp.
Because Nick's just seen with Dart if he's still alive. Yeah. Dart is not still alive. Nope. Well. So they're coming. Go, Dame Stella. Bring their essences to me. Sire. I have given you magic stronger than any seen on the continent. Through this magic you have gained much power. Perfect strength and perfect beauty. You are my masterpiece, Lim Stella. Your flesh cannot endure the power of this sorcery. Before tomorrow, your entire body will be corrupted. But this is what you desire, yes? The chance to die for me? You said I'm pretty. <laughs> So far, so good. A little more and we'll be at the Dragon's Gate. We got here without much trouble. Wonder when Greybeard will show up. What do you want to do? Wait? Nope, go on without me! Alright, good. Me he's, he's a weirdo anyway. <laughs> Lord Hollywood, look out! Move! Oh my god! I've forgiven you for stabbing my sister. Nils, you came. I did. I can't run away any longer. I'll take Ninian's place. I have to do her part. No, I have to do Ninian's part and mine. For the sake of plot convenience. I'll fight with you and we'll change the course of fate. Um, well spoken. <laughs> unfortunately, that game already came out. Now you sound like a man! <laughs> Nails, glad to see you. Sorry for worrying you. I'm fine now. And now, stop skulking and come out, you fucks. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're there. Perfect. <laughs> ah, who? I'm Stella, the one who's always at Nurgle's side. Yeah, go peoples, you're a morph, aren't you? I've come for your good intestines. Come out, my humble servants. Normally I'd be a little afraid of those ballista. Ah, uh, this is one of my favorite themes in the game. Unshakable faith, faith. Too bad, I can't hear it. Faith. I know, right? You should be able to, uh, just Google it and listen to it. Yeah. Yeah. Tati? It's Hector's oh, theme, yeah? yeah? No, it's not Hector's theme. Uh, it's sort of the Lloyd's theme of this game. We'll have to fight our way through. Fight our way through! No matter how many there are, we cannot retreat. He hasn't called any dragons yet. If we go now, we might still have time to stop him. Hunter, it begins. The final battle. Alright, here we go. You have to kill them one at a time. Or at least that's what it was for me. This is my last chapter with my Linus as wars. Ah, Lord Hector, this is for you. It's an earth steel. How did you get this? I just heard that. Fargus told me to give it to you. You tell me that old man had this thing all along. He did say that it would help you in battle, but is it really that special? Yeah, brother, it's a heaven seal. You know what I mean? Listen. <laughs> anyway. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Wait. <laughs> you could probably get a bunch of. Like stupid clips of me saying random stuff. <laughs> yeah, you need to like collect it and make a video of it. <laughs> like a dubstep remix using my stupid <laughs> sounds. <laughs> yep. Do it. <laughs> oh jeez. I can't believe it. He finally disgusting. <laughs> I mean, the hell. Oh, the health? Or resistance, like, she's... 
he is, is still a good magic counter. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> 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 is that really the only time you get an Earth Seal? No, you get uh, another one. Uh, a little later. I mean, a little before. Oh, okay. I was about to say, like, damn. All the way until, like, the la almost last chapter? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna want really high defense units for this chapter. Uh, there's a moment you move somewhere. There is going to be retaliation. Uh, so, like, Sacred Stones, though, I mean, the Frim's route isn't bad, but it's also interesting to play the other route. Because they're wildly yeah. different. Because, um, the Frames is all about fighting, like, Grado. And yeah, and Erica's... he takes a freaking capital with his small voices. <laughs> and Erica's, you fight a lot of, uh, monsters. Which is... Are, are the units that you get in each route different? Uh, no, they the always part. have, like, a... Yeah, most of them are the same. They usually have, like, a reason in each route why the units are there. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm looking forward to Ross getting buff as hell. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Because he goes from skinny, tiny kid to huge, swole berserker. <laughs> Hector's on his own over there, I just realized that. And then Amelia's like a little tiny, scrawny girl and like fucking puts on his whole set of armor is like, I am the man yeah. now. <laughs> you can go, Hector, you got this. That hand axe is definitely breaking. <laughs> oh man, can we get that speed? Yes! Yay! Yay! And defense. Needs one more. Nice. It's kind of frustrating in the GameCube games or the console ones because they don't show you what the cap is, so you only know until you actually hit it. Yeah, so it's like, like I don't know in, if uh, it... DS games as well. Hmm. Yeah. It's just I don't know if I should use my boosting items on them or not. Yeah, because it might be wasted. Yeah, because I don't know if Ike's going to hit the cap with some of his stats or if I should boost them. This is a tank <laughs> round. Once I'm done Path of Radiance, I get to play Radiant Dawn, which is even longer. <laughs> oh, Path of Radiance man. is about as long as this game. I think Radiant Dawn's like 40 chapters. Oh wow. Yeah. That's, cool. That's a lot. That's two levels. No speed from that one. Man, and I thought Revelations was long and annoying. <laughs> it's uh, it's really weird because there you oh, play as two different groups, the Crimean Knights and the Dawn Brigade. So, mm -hmm. the Dawn Brigade is Micaiah's group, and they're, like, really weak and pathetic. And then yeah, you spend that. all this time trying to make them good, and then you play as the as the Crimean Knights, and they're super amazing, because, because... they <laughs> Or, well, uh, it's, or sorry, I mean the Grail Mercenaries. And the Grail Mercenaries are, are just the best. And there's Ike, of course. Yeah, and Ike carries the game, and then you go back to playing the Dawn Brigade. And you're just it like, what? So frustrating. It's, I don't know, I really like Micaiah, I just, it sucks that she kind of sucks, though. <laughs> yeah. 
And then she has that uh, sacrifice ability, but why bother when you can just use a healer? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And I don't think it gives her XP to use it either, so it's you just have no reason for it unless you absolutely have to. Oh, wow. Got Nigel. So do we know the the next summoning event is tomorrow, right? Or is it going Thursday? Out, uh, but I the next summoning event, I'm not sure when it is. Because it's supposed to be twenty fourth, but I don't know if that's twenty fourth at eleven PM. <laughs> I don't know either, so, honestly. Because they always do all that stuff. Oh yeah, it's eleven PM, so it's actually the next day that I'm gonna see it. I just want to know what the next legendary banner is going to be. Yeah. We'll probably get a video for zero, the, zero, this zero. week's event soon enough, and then another one like Sunday or something for whatever, the legendary banner. Whatever broken shit they're going to put in their anniversary <laughs> banner that we know is coming. Spring bar tray, summer bar tray, <laughs> and fall bar tray. And then back to school, Bartry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nautical Bartry. Uh. <laughs> well, Hector's having some fun over there. Just I'm not, he's just sitting the there. What would you do without Hexer? Lose. <laughs> Struggle. Oh no, Lucius! That was intentional. I hope he doesn't double. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Don't worry, I calculated it perfectly. That's happened before, too. The, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not denying that fact. <laughs> Hunter relives, relives the pain that once happened. Yep. I've been trying to disadvantage this. Not very good there. But what are you gonna do? Speed, 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 speed. It's still 20 for damage and <laughs> disadvantage. I think it's only 15 in these games, actually. Yeah, I think it's but 15 hit in the void. Pardon? I think it's 15 hit and avoid. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think the damage change is all that big. It's only one point or something. Yeah. Something small. Yeah. 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 All right. He did the thing. And I mean, if he builds speed twice more, then you wouldn't even need to use the body ring. That's not very likely, though. I would like to max him out. Oh, actually, I can get Lucius both these kills. Oh, nice. Uh, oh boy. I don't want to risk that. Go oh boy, aww. Uh... <laughs> It'd absolutely still be able to, so I'll just uh, attack without his capacity to counter. That crit was completely unnecessary. He's gotta show off. Yeah, he's gotta show off his new skills. Yeah, like having a staff, which is why he's a healer now. <laughs> Building magic and resistance are what I'm mainly concerned about, because if I can use him to counter some people in the upper right room, I'm okay with that. Who? 
Lucius. Lucius. Yeah, but counter who, I mean. Uh, sorry, upper left room, uh, in the chapter Light were... Oh, the, the uh, the Druid and the, and Kenneth. Yeah, that nonsense. So here's the deal. I want to pick off a couple of these without it being absolute nightmare, so you know what that means. Oh yeah, we know what that means. Let's stick with the axe. Weapon triangle advantage. I think that'll take precedence. Um, I want to have my bow users close to start striking them down. And looking at what they have there, I'm going to want all more support from my flying unit. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. That bandit's totally gonna get set litany. <laughs> Can't remember what that one does. What does it do? Uh, increases the void by 10%. Kinda mediocre, really. What? Increases a void by 10%. Oh, right, you hit the ring. Yeah. When you first described it, I was like, geez, I just use it on someone and they have 10% and then now it only lasts a turn. <laughs> it's nowhere near as good as, uh, like, buffing strength or defense. Yeah, I mean... And Thor's Ire, I think, is only 10% as well. That's the uh, crit rate one. Thor's Ire. I think I missed that one. Wasn't it in Genesis? Uh, no. That's the one that's in Sonya's chapter. Ah. Uh, yeah, screw it. <laughs> it can't it's hit like under any circumstance. <laughs> if it would it would have done 26 damage, but it can't. That's, uh, Thor's Ire is the one that's top right in Sonya's chapter. Such a pain to get. Increased. Have you guys thought about that in another year we could get a third Splatoon on the Switch? <laughs> you know, I do think about that sometimes, but I'm just like... I don't think Damn! <laughs> I mean, do we want it to happen? Valid question. Maybe. I mean, what else can they do, though? Fifth competitive mode. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Capture the flag. Very fun. But this time, it's on- it's put on a random teammate and it's stuck on them for the whole match. And if you touch it, you'll be sent straight to the Shadow Realm. Yes! I actually recently learned that the Shadow Realm was completely made up by four kids. Seriously? Was it? I've heard that. I didn't check it, but... <laughs> well, time to go watch the entirety of the Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh! to find out. Because, like, it, it would always be like a chainsaws will cut you in half, which would normally kill you, but instead, when it touches you, you'll go right to the Shadow Realm! So they probably just straight up die in the Japanese version. <laughs> that, so I've heard. <laughs> that probably sucks, because I remember in, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, like, there is this girl that the main character would talk to a lot, and it's like, yeah, my brother's lost in the Shadow Realm. So now you just think about it that he's just actually just probably just fucking dead, that kind of sucks. Oh, yeah, well, in, circumstances, <laughs> in circumstances like that, it's what they actually usually do is... What in the Japanese version it's usually like is, instead of, of course, just being in the Shadow Realm, so they're actually just in hell. 
Okay. So I guess in that sense it wasn't completely <laughs> made up, but... Oh, half the time... Yeah, take, I gotta I go know, watch Japanese GOGX now. I gotta know. I gotta know. I watched through the whole first series with Yugi, and then I got halfway through 5Ds, or... no. What's the second series? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure the second one is Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Okay, maybe. Yeah, 5Ds is the bikes one. It must have been halfway through GX then. Though I do remember watching a bunch of 5Ds just because it was on TV back in high school. Yeah, I remember watching a lot of it too. I didn't know, I didn't really understand what was going on. I liked GX better. I don't know, I just liked it a lot, but like 5Ds was just... I don't know what was going on. It was cool though, I was like, yeah, motorcycles, what the hell is going on? Yeah, they're <laughs> fighting on motorcycles. <laughs> like, yeah, you go, bridge, make a joke I remember like there was like a tournament or something, there was like this hot chick, and I was like, whoa, she's hot. And they're like, all right guys, time for the tournament. And they're like, I don't, I really don't remember if they're actually like riding their bikes in this circle. I really hope they were. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was I, just like a circuit that they were on while playing Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Like, they're racing and dueling. I was just like, yeah. man, how do they multitask like this? <laughs> and then wasn't it like, the more they were after they would go or something? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I just don't remember. <laughs> do you think we remember playing a Flash game? That, in hindsight, sounds a lot like Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Like, I'd play a lot of Flash games as a kid. Um, ah... Uh, it's hard to describe, but essentially it was just like that, and it was like, shoot. I may have played at some point. I, I was like, I was on Newgrounds a lot when I was younger. Newgrounds taught me a lot of weird things I shouldn't have learned when I was younger, but it... Oh, there oh, I am. Uh, I, I think I was in the wrong section. Okay, Hunter, get ready to censor this. Hunter, get ready to censor this. <laughs> no, don't worry, something bad, but... I would play like a lot of like random games on there, and there was like this like game series that's all you know they had a lot of people did like sprite games and whatnot. So there's this game series that this person had. I okay, like it was like it was Sonic and like Dragon Ball Z and like Knights or something, and it was like this whole entire series that it didn't make any sense, but it was like. Sonic and his buddies featuring knights and probably Goku like gotta fight this super alien dude and it's like it was really it was like stylized in the in like Final Fantasy way. It was just weird and it had like you know anime over and everything. I only remember one specific episode. Like, you had to like fight the the final boss and it was like some kind of like water bitch or whatever the fuck and like <laughs> it was like really. It, I mean, the mechanics were- it was actually pretty interesting, but I didn't know- I was like, I don't know what I was doing. It was like, press build up power to make Sonic go fucking Super Saiyan or something. It was weird. <laughs> I gotta find it. Like, it was- I, I think it was like- it was modeled after Final Fantasy VII, like, with Goku and some shit. It was really weird, but I thought it was like the coolest shit when I was I was like, yeah, Goku, yeah, Sonic, you go, yeah, go fast. Like, it was weird, but it was fun. I should, I should find it and like literally just play it for you guys. <laughs> so we can just have some fun. <laughs> That'd be really hard to find, I'm sure. I know, cause that's like from like the early 2000s. I'm pretty sure it's, it's still gotta be there. Most of people don't delete their shit off of Newgrounds. It's gotta be there. I know it is. <laughs> gotta find Final Fantasy Sonic, guys. <laughs> We're gonna have a little uh, play date. We're gonna watch Final <laughs> Fantasy Sonic. Man, it's so much fun. <laughs> When are we gonna do that, uh, team movie night thing? I don't know. Whatever. Does that sound fun? Team movie night? Yeah, yeah we, can, we were like, talking watch, about like, it during the Splatfest. We were like, watch like a bunch of animes together and have some fun times. Man, we could, we could all watch Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh! and figure out what the dark world is now! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and get... <laughs> watch Kaiba beat Yugi up in the oh, first geez. episode. And then, like, try to comprehend why they're fucking dueling on bikes. <laughs> oh, yeah, 5Gs, yeah. We got it, we got it. Some questions might never be answered. <laughs> I think there's, like, two more Yu Gi Oh's that, like, came out recently, and it's. I don't know, I, I tried watching. One a few years ago. I know I tried oh. watching one. The main protagonist had, like, green hair or something. These protagonists got some crazy ass hair, like, this. 
I don't know what the, the Yu-Gi-Oh guy is like. He's like, all right, the first guy got some crazy yellow hair. The second guy's got some somewhat normal brown hair. Then the other guy's got some crazy ass black hair with more streaks going on. And this guy's got fucking Christmas tree hair with some red streaks and some green streaks. And I was like, what is going on? And this other kid had like the stupidest fucking, he looks like he's bald, but he's not bald. And he's got like hair sticking out here and there. I was like, okay, this guy is on new shit. Wait, can I have what this guy is on, honestly? <laughs> so uh, there's GX, and then 5Ds, and then Zexel. And yeah, then yeah, Arc, Zexel. Arc 5. They yeah, plan. with Zexel. They have created a timeline more convoluted than the Zelda timeline. And then there's going to be, or there was one called Ver. Oh, really? I guess. I don't know. I'm so confused. Back when Man. I played Yu-Gi-Oh! the card game, is it good? I mean, I never played it either, but I heard there's I like... I never played it legitimately. <laughs> I heard there's a mobile game, and then there's one online. And, but I heard they're I actually both pretty good. pretty good. I don't know, I don't understand Yu-Gi-Oh! so it'll hurt my head, I'll probably lose it. <laughs> I'm not very good at card games. I played Pokemon TCG uh, when I was younger. I enjoyed it a lot. Man, I wish I was smart. You know, like, my favorite thing? I like watching, like, this thing. It was, like, censored games or whatever. Like, things that would come from Japan and, like, what ridiculous things that America would do to censor it. I would, like... It would be like this, like the most like littlest thing on a Yu-Gi-Oh card, and they would be like, "Oh my God, we can't show this to the children." It was like a side <laughs> put a side on her. <laughs> and it was like this. There's this guy, and he has like this spear or something. They like put a fucking fork or something. And, like, it was like, don't don't show the kids a spear. Give them a fork. Like I was like, what are they doing? Like, and there was this robot, and he's like, this robot's got this gun. It's like, no, put it like it looks like a fucking like Nerf football gun. Like that's what it looks like. <laughs> Made it all fancy and colorful. And I was like, is these people for real? Like, is everyone like that's all the Yu-Gi-Oh mobile the mobile game cars are all like edited, and it just looks like four kids is behind this shit again it just looks so <laughs> so stupid like they were freaking out over fucking titties and like a fucking pitchfork <laughs> like, i know they they like made a realistic sort of looking tank monster turn into like a goofy looking tank monster instead uh i'm looking it up right now actually they shrunk dark magician girl's chest yeah 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 <laughs> Yeah, Dark Magician Girl. Boobs too like, big, make it smaller. <laughs> localization issues. Yeah, she's she's got a lot. Yeah, it's a little too much kind of going on over there. I mean, hey, who does? <laughs> uh, so edit that the out. Shadow Realm. Apparently, the Pharaoh destroyed people's minds where people died, so instead they sent people to Shadow Realm. Uh... <laughs> Finger guns? Oh yeah. Finger... Yeah, yeah. That famous one where... Like, it was actually threatening uh, Maximilian the Pegasus, like but instead it's just like, <laughs> you're forgetting I have the power of four kids and censorship on my side. And he's just pointing at him and says, shooting a gun at him and saying, hold your hands up, Pegasus! And it's just a finger, and you're just looking at it, just like, what is he doing? Like, <laughs> like, is he gonna, like, fucking, like, shoot some lasers at his finger or something? Like, ooh, he Pegasus is starting to buy that finger. Oh, God, watch out. Watch out, guys. things happen with, like, the four kids dub of, um, what was it? Uh, Dragon Ball Z? You, like, uh, oh, sorry. A character would just be like, haha, we're gonna send them to the next dimension. Uh -oh. Oh, he has been sent dimension. To the next dimension. Guys, what do we do? Like, the I, I would find a lot on Twitter, like people like showing like old dubs from like when you were younger. The old dubs like are hilarious. I I watched Sailor Moon. When I was younger because Sailor Moon was my shit. But the Sailor Moon English dub was awful. <laughs> it was awful, but it was like. Hilarious! Like, there is like this part. There's this guy, and his name is Damien. He's like Sarah Moon's like Playboy or something. And like she what? has like a 
a kid or something. Her name's like Rini or whatever. And like Damien's here with Rini in like some place and she, Rini's like, I must go save somebody. And then Rini jumps out the balcony like what, later and he was like, oh no. Like the dub's like, oh no, Rini. It's like staring out the window and then Sarah Moon cause he's like, where's Rini? Oh, you just missed her. She just jumped out the window. Bye Rini. Like, <laughs> like that's question. literally how the dub went. <laughs> What is Sailor Moon? Sailor Moon's a magical girl anime. No, I no, I mean the who is she? Like the character, not the show. Oh, she's she's the main character. She's one of the giant like blonde pigtails and whatnot. Okay, yeah, but what makes her special? Because she's Sailor Moon. What's the plot? I can't ex I can't <laughs> explain it honestly. You have to watch it. Hey, you, you know what? We're gonna watch Sailor Moon together. You and me, Hunter. <laughs> We're gonna watch them together. <laughs> Ties. <laughs> He's had enough. <laughs> I gotta find that clip of the dub. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Alright. Should be good. But we should actually figure out when we're doing the uh, movie night thing. <laughs> we should. I am so done with all of you. What are you talking about? Why? We're, we're gonna have so much fun. I mean, freaking. Just tell me what Sailor Moon is! I can't explain it! Why it's not? Like, How? Because it's difficult! It's like this.